Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learning. This is video number six of this series. We are making school management system, and as part of it, we are currently making forms. And uh, if you are new to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Even if you are not new and you haven't subscribed to my channel, why you haven't subscribed? <laughs> please make sure that you hit subscribe hit the bell icon so you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. So I was quite busy and I thought I'll make a very quick video and I, I will upload for you guys because some of you might be waiting. I'm just assuming. Anyway, so let's go ahead and let's talk about what we are going to do today. So I've done a little bit of pre-work already to just to save your time and my time. So what, I, what we are going to do is we are going to create a very simple form, although it will require similar amount of effort because we are going to use the record set and SQL statement and all those fancy things. Uh, so it will require similar effort, although the field is only one. So we are going to create a form that will help the users to add, create or delete the fiscal year information or academic year information from the table or database. So that's what we are going to do. And uh, this is the form. So I've already created the form. You can see that it still says academic month. So I should change that. If I'll go to design view, and rather than academic month it should be academic year now if i click on this button i go to the event tab dot 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 i have deleted everything because we'll do from the scratch except this uh, error handling code block all right so that is already done so what we are going to do well we are going to use a record set and we will first search for the information for example if user is creating 2023 year and 2023 already exists in the database then clearly it should throw an error otherwise it should proceed and create a record so basically no duplication of record that's what i'm talking about so that functionality also needs to be built in into this uh, form and application right let's jump right into the vba and let's uh, go ahead and uh, create all right so we'll begin with first uh, checking whether this field or this text box has information or not if it is empty through an error of course we can't create empty records so if is null null me dot ay dot value equals true then to cmd.b message box this action or i'm not going to create a lengthy message box provide the fiscal year to proceed further okay comma we be critical comma and information okay now if that is uh, false, then go ahead and check the validity and create the information. All right. Now to use a record set. Now I'm not going to go in very much detail. If you are interested to know in detail how the record set works and everything, please do watch the video number five, which was the previous video than this. And I have explained it a little bit. So you will have a little bit of clar clarity, but now I'm going to just fly in with the code. Okay, so we'll create a variable and variable will start with team and we'll say RS create. That's the name of the variable. And we'll say uh, it should be as a, a record set. Now that is there. This variable will be used to create a record. Now we have to create another variable team RS uh, check as a record set. So you might have already guessed it. RS check is to basically check it whether the information which is being given by the user uh, already exists in the database or not. So for that, this is the variable created. So first, of course, we are going to check the information. So we'll say RS check. Um, sorry, we'll say set RS check 
equals current db dot open record set so basically we are saying that open this table and check uh, sorry open this table with this uh, line of code so we are going to open this table and we'll just copy the name of the table so we'll use the double quotes and when we're opening the table we should open the table in the read only mode okay because we are not going to make any updates or any change so therefore we are just opening in read only mode so db open snapshot comma db read only so that is the additional code uh, words that you have to type in now let's go ahead and uh, set the create variable as well so we'll say set rs create equals current db dot open record set and we'll do exactly the same uh, we'll copy this rather than typing it again and we'll paste in right here now you must be thinking why you why i did not add these two here because here this uh, variable is being used to create the record so whenever we want to create a new record we don't have to use all of these things we just use the name of the table and that's it uh, that will be it now to check whether the uh, record already exists in the database or not this is what we are going to do now so we'll say rs check dot find first so what we are looking at we're looking at the ay the, the information in ay column in the database and we're saying check if it is equals to this ay whatever the user has typed in so the access will go in and check it and then we'll say if rs check dot no match equals true then so what basically we are doing here so we're saying that if user has typed in 2023 and there is no 2023 exists in the database then go ahead and create logically that's what logic says right uh, before i do anything else i will just uh, make sure that it is properly closed this code block otherwise you know i tend to get forget and we get the errors anyway so we'll go ahead and create the record so now to create a record we are going to use rs create which is set for what is set okay so to do that we'll say rs create dot add new okay so what we are going to do rs create exclamation mark ay equals me dot ay dot value all right that's it and then make sure that you close it with update statement as well now if the uh, record is created then through a message box also and you say message box the uh, fiscal year has been created simple as that okay and then you say vp information information and then title would be information as well now what else i want to do i want to clear out this text field also text box also so me dot ay dot value equals double quote now one more thing you must do before you uh, move ahead and that is to close these tables right so what we will do we will uh, we'll say me dot sorry not me so we'll say rs create dot close and then we'll say rs check what is happening dot close okay so tables are closed now that will be done if there is no record if there is no duplication if there is a record exist already which user is trying to create again then simply through a message box so that will be to cmd.b message box the record with the provided information 
already exist okay that's it you can make any um, message if you want to change it all right that's it and we will again clear it clear the text box a y dot value equals here we go i think that is it so let's debug it nothing is no error so that's good so at the moment there is no record so let's go ahead and create so first of all i'll check it if this is working or not so yes provide please provide fiscal year let's go ahead and type in 2023 so if the code is working well it should go through because there is no 2023 in this database so let's go ahead and click on add new and the fiscal year has been created how would i know let's go over to design view double click and there you go that's how i know now let's say i will try to create 2023 again so let's say 2023 and let's click on add new and boom the record with the provided information already exists there you go it means this code is working well let's create 2024 whether it is working or not and should work there you go and if we'll go to the table there you go 2024 awesome now let's go ahead and uh, do a quick round of coding behind the delete button so even tap dot 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 so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy and paste a few things here so god bless the person who invented copy and paste right <laughs> all right so i'll go to the uh, delete I'll paste in here so we'll close it with end if as well so we don't forget and we don't get error now like we checked um in in uh, in here for creating like we check rs check uh similar way we are going to check first whether uh the the year which which is provided by user exists in the database or now not if not then we'll throw an error hey you are trying to delete something which does not exist in the database so that is what we are going to do if it does exist then we will go ahead and we will we'll, we will use the sql statement and delete that record so first we will declare variable for the record set so dim rs search as a record set okay and then we will say um, dim sql as string uh, not stream string okay now let's move on here and let's first check whether the record exists or not so for that we have to set the variable set rs search equals current db dot open record set open close parentheses double quotes and again we would copy the name otherwise i don't want to get error because of this spelling mistake now db open diner set okay now focus on that db open diner set is used along with the table name or query name whenever we want to edit modify change delete record so db open diner set must be used okay now what else do we do well now we are going to ask microsoft access to check it for us so rs search dot find first again we will give the name a y equals ampersand me dot a y dot value and if rs not is if rs search dot no match equals true then so else and end if now rs so if 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 there is no match if the if user is giving 2027 and trying to delete it and 2027 does not exist in the database through a message box hey there is nothing called 2027 in this table so therefore the action cannot be performed so this is where you say do cmd.b 
message box and you say the provided the okay the record does not exist in the database okay database and hence this operation cannot be performed oh god that's the that's the longest version of the message box right anyway so we be critical and title would be information okay now after that we will clear the field as well so me dot a y value is equal to double quotes and we will close the table also uh, so we'll say rs search dot hang on hang on if we will close it here then it's a problem right we are not going to close why we are closing that's madness so we will close the table after we have deleted the record okay so here we are going to add a sql statement which will actually delete the record so we'll say do cmd dot run sql here we go now we have to give statement and in double quotes we'll say delete okay delete this asterisk sign so asterisk means delete everything from from where from academic year table all right okay where make sure that you give where clause okay otherwise it will delete all the things in this table so please don't blame me later on <laughs> where clause is must when you want to delete one record which you are trying to delete so where a y equals double quote double quote um ampersand ampersand and me dot a y dot value okay now that is it and so we will add couple of things here do cmd dot set warnings false okay uh, this is very important otherwise you will get uh, weird um, error messages uh, that is by the way normal so what we are doing is normal as well so don't worry about it now after the record is created what we want uh, record is deleted we want to give a message box kind of confirmation uh, the record has been deleted okay comma and this is a success so we be information and information in the title as well and now we can close first we will clear the text box and now we can close the the table which we were closing before rs search dot close okay there you go i think we are done so let's uh, test it out now there is 2023 2024 there is no 2025 so i'm going to try to delete 2025 which does not exist so if it is working well we are going to get error that this does not exist oh, oh come on <laughs> i created the record anyway so now it does exist right now it does exist because i by mistake create now let's try to delete 2026 which does not exist so i click on delete and what it says the record does not exist in the database hence this operation cannot be performed well done now if we will delete 2025 which we which we, we did create by mistake so let's click on delete the record has been deleted we will see in the table there is nothing 2025 now let's go ahead and create again 2025 and let's create a record it should be created now it is there there you go so that's the confirmation that it is working i uh, i know it's a short video but i hope that you have learned something if you have not please do let me know in the comments below subscribe to the channel if you liked it please smash the like button and let me know in the comments below and keep supporting loop learnings all right thank you very much and i will see you in the next one